All right, BattleBox fam, I've got the October 2023 Pro Plus box. It's giant, big, thick one. Let's pop open the seal and see what came this month. What's up, guys? Eric here with At Home in the Future, and I'm back with another BattleBox unboxing. Uh, like I always say, this is like the OG outdoor survival gear type box. Really cool stuff every month. Comes in four different flavors. Start with the basic box down for about, you know, 35 a month or so and going all the way up to the Pro Plus box, which is what we check out in this channel. Uh, if you want to grab the subscription for yourself, uh, go check it out. I think you'll really dig it. You can get the link on the screen or down in the description and save yourself a little bit of money. But this is Mission 104, I think. I still can't believe we're in the hundreds in this thing. Uh, been around for a little while, but always a ton of fun. Uh, so let's pop it open. It's starting to look like fall outside and feel like fall here in Tennessee, which makes me want to mess with some battle box gear. So here we are. Um, this one's full to the gills. So what I'm going to do is unload all this stuff and we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, there we go. Just at first glance, this is like the most battle boxy battle box I feel like I've seen in a while. Um, a little mission brief even feels a little bit different. So let's take a look inside of this. 104, like I said. Uh, you can get a rundown of all the stuff here. Let's keep going. So like I mentioned, we got basic box over here on the left. You get these items and it keeps building on itself. Got the advanced box over here too. Pro box, which comes with two different items this month. And then typically a sharp item and that trend continues right here um, in the Pro Plus box, which is exciting. We've actually had some stuff from Holtzman Gorilla Survival before. So uh, interesting, checking this out. All right, so let's start here at the bottom. Now we got some thoughts and thumbs and stuff in the basic box this month uh, from Mountain Ops Hydrate Lemonade. Um, so I actually really dig in the basic box or I guess any level of battle box, um, getting stuff you can eat, stuff you can taste. Uh, so right now we've got, it looks like, it's like, an, like electrolyte packets. Yeah, electrolyte drink mix. All right, cool. Looks like they're all lemonade flavor, which is a good flavor. Let's take a look at these. I think there's a pretty good amount, like 20 of them. Anyway, I like when battle box ends with stuff like this. So the last, I don't know, I feel like the last year we've gotten this sort of stuff a few times. We've got some bone broth. We've got some other electrolyte stuff, I think. Um, but I really dig that. Look how many. I mean, that's a lot of stuff, a lot of hikes, um, a lot of throwing this in your bag when you go to the game just to drink something. Uh, this sounds pretty good. I've heard of Mountain Ops, and I've actually heard some really good things. Um, so if we're going to get uh, a bit packed of this stuff, a bit packed of lemonade sounds awesome. So pretty cool. I enjoy checking that stuff out. A bunch of these things to drink, throw them in all your packs. Throw these in your travel bag, by the way. Um, how many times are you like at a theme park or in the airport and just need something to kind of perk you up a little bit, give you some energy. Maybe you've been eating like crap the whole time you've been out traveling. Um, these things are pretty awesome. So yeah, I like seeing stuff like this. Cool first item. So as much as I like seeing that sort of thing, for whatever reason, I don't like getting books and subscriptions. Um, I guess because I feel like I can get a lot of info online now. Now, I understand the rationale. Maybe you want to have something on the shelf or if we're going off grid or um, even just enjoy looking at this stuff. I totally get it. This is looks like a super high quality guide. Actually, all of these filled and stream things um, are pretty great. From the author of the Outdoorsman Manual, I mean, if you're going to get one of these, this is probably the type of thing to get. Um, definitely, no doubt, a high quality book, lots of really cool stuff. My kids really enjoy um, going through this. Look at this knife guy, that's pretty cool. I like to have all those blades actually. Uh, anyway, for whatever reason though, just personally, and y'all can just wear me out for it in the comments, I don't like getting books in these subs. I want a gadget or some sort of like tool or something to use. I guess knowledge is power, knowledge is the ultimate tool, but anyway, just, just food for thought there. So really like getting stuff to eat, really don't like getting stuff to read, don't know why, but here we are. All right, so let's keep moving. And we got, this is a candle. So we've got the tree free fire. Is this like one of those campfire things that's in a tin? It doesn't smell like anything. Look at this thing. Okay. Okay, I was just about to ask, can you use this inside? Because I see this huge flame here. I just imagine this <laughs> sitting on our coffee table, just shooting a torch up in the sky. Outdoor use only. It looks like it's kind of like an on-demand, uh, little small campfire that might be nice. Kind of like the idea of this. Have you guys used this sort of thing before? I actually haven't used one of these. I've seen a few different models, some with like a dozen different wicks. I like that these are just like almost these stump things. Super curious, wonder how long it's supposed to last. Okay, so it burns is up to eight inches tall, lasts three to five hours, that's pretty cool. Save to cook over, break out the marshmallows, all right. So this looks like an on-demand s'more station to me. <laughs> I kind of dig it, interesting item. It's much lighter than you'd expect it to be. Um, really curious about these weird wicks. Interesting mix of stuff in basic. We got some hydration packets, we got a portable campfire, and we got a camping manual, and on we go. So next up from Uberleben, we've got the Kessel Pot with wax canvas. 
uh, which I feel like this is an item I've seen in some subscription box before. Uber Laban makes really cool stuff. I'm trying to remember, Battlebox actually sent this um, a few years back. So we got this nice uh, waxed canvas. Which, by the way, you should go get you a waxed canvas jacket. Super cool, but you kind of get a taste of that here just in the container. It looks like we got a classic uh, camp kettle here. We've got our handle we can attach. We've got, let's see if we can get this wrapping off. So we've got our handle we can slide down here and attach and screw on. Um, you can use that to mount that in all sorts of different ways. And we've got a nice lid. Makes the soup. Warm up some stuff around the campfire. You got a little strainer built in. Use that there, but just super nice. Um, just a classic campfire essential. Really dig that. And dig the little um, wax canvas container too. So cool item. So it's made from HD 304 stainless steel. Yeah, pair it with a backpack stove. You can see how you kind of attach the handle there and get that going over. So you can hang that from stuff. Um, I think Battlebox actually had like a tripod attachment a few months ago. Uh, that'd be really cool to hang this thing from. But if you like cooking over some open coals or over your camping stove, definitely something you want to have in your kit is um, a little pot like that. So super fun. So let's move on to Pro. We got two items this month. Both of these things light up. I'm a sucker for flashlights and a sucker for lanterns, that sort of thing. So seeing both a flashlight and a lantern in this kit um, is pretty exciting. So first up, we have the Journey 700, 700 lumen flashlight, lifetime warranty. Wow. Okay. Holds a charge for seven years. No batteries to replace. It looks like it can charge. Can it charge with the USB as well? Or also charges your stuff with the USB? It does charge mobile devices. Okay, yeah, recharge with any light source or use micro USB for rapid charging. Any light source? That doesn't mean like indoor lights. I don't know. Let's see if we can pop this open. Okay, so it's actually a 2500 milliamp hour battery. It floats. It's waterproof. Let's see, I guess this is interesting little screw mechanism there. We have uh, your mini USB charger, USB-A for, I guess, charging gadgets and stuff with. Uh, pretty interesting little guy here. Let's see. So there we go. Hi. Oh, nope, that's high. <laughs> All right, so that's a low. Let's see how many lumens it is in low, does it say? It doesn't say. It has a throw distance of 800 meters, though, which seems really strong. Um, as far as... Gosh, I feel like I've seen some of these solar lights in previous kits and everything, but this is a heck of a one here. Um, I'm curious if you run it down, how long it would actually take to charge from the solar panel. A lot of times gadgets like this, those solar panels can be like, man, you gotta charge that thing for like a week to get to full power, um, even in bright sunlight, but maybe not. Hybrid light makes really nice stuff. Um, I can't get over how bright that, I mean, 700 lumens for one of these lights is pretty killer. I dig that, very light, has a cool soft touch rubber to it. Okay, I like all that. Let's check out the lantern too. So this is the Atlas 600 lantern and charger. Again, hybrid solar. I'm showing, gosh, I'm sitting near a window here and I think it's just grabbing the light uh, from the solar panel here on top. Well, let's take a look at this thing too. All right, so check this thing out. Um, let's see, we've got five volt input so you can charge it this way. Same kind of system I bet where you can charge other stuff. Let's, let's see here. 100 hours of light on one full charge, 25 lumens to 600 lumens, waterproof and float, super durable. Yeah, same thing. Okay, let's check out the light from this. So it's got some LEDs here at the bottom and uses this reflector at the top. This may be low, medium, and high. Wow, high is very bright. Um, man, that's really impressive, guys. <laughs> that's really cool. Solar, solar panel on top, looks like we have Nice hook hanging system as this moves to. So if you just want to hook it on to something you can, if you want to use this for a kind of a closed loop hold there. It's also very bright. Um, these are cool. This may be, these two things here actually may be the items of the month right here. I'm really digging these. So pretty awesome gear. Awesome to have for just any sort of circumstance survival situation, emergency situation, um, or just camping, you know, use it all night as much as you want without worrying about running down the batteries while you're goofing off the next day, sit out in the sun, let it charge up again, and then go to town the next night. Really dig that. Hybrid light makes really solid stuff. Um, you can just tell it's well built, not cheapo Amazon crap, um, which is really tempting to go out and get, you're going camping, you want to go get stuff and Amazon's full of just like Chinese junk. Um, this definitely does not feel like that. You can tell these are premium items. I'm really digging that. Okay, so cool. So last but not least, let's move on to Pro Plus here. 
All right, from Holtzman. So, Battle Box. In the past, we've had a Holtzman fixed blade that's super nice. One of my favorite campfire knives right now. And this looks like it is a folder. To be honest, I had no idea they even made folders. So they always have this like nice presentation in their boxes. Look at all this stuff. Okay, so we've got, oh, there's a 25% discount if you want to take advantage of that. And actually, here's a little secret too. You can get the one for hybrid light, 30%. Site Y, there's a code at the top. And you see their full range of stuff. Again, make cool stuff. All right, so we got a little soft cleaning cloth. We get we get a bonus clip too. Lots of things here. Is this a sharpening stone? I'm gonna put this down and kind of go through this stuff. Holtzman tends to load you down with some things. Yeah, we've got like a like a whetstone type thing wrapped up in some plastic there. We've got. A carrying case, look at this, like a soft little velour carrying case. So Vivi and Wii knives tend to have those, um, sometimes CJRB too. Okay, let's get to the main event. Let's get to this knife. Um, it is a beefy boy, but it's cool. Okay, that's one thing I forgot about Holtzman stuff. I feel like they oil the crap out of these, uh, which is good, keeps your blades nice. Let's see, uh, nice smooth action. Got some sort of plastic thing here. Yeah, I don't have anything to wipe this thing down on, so you're just gonna have to look at a still a really kind of wet looking blade there from that. But we have a liner lock, we have what I'm assuming are G10 scales, a nice deep carry clip, um, really cool finishing on the, on the scales themselves here with a nice red accent. Kind of, I can't tell if there's a little bit of blue um, to this gray or not. Cool gorilla badging there, D2 steel, which is nice, a big deep choil, liner lock, very smooth. I'm worried with all the grease in this thing, I'm gonna mess myself up with it. Nice flipper, very smooth. All right, those thumb studs, again, they're very greasy right now, so I'm kind of worried about messing with those. But we'll mess with the flipper a few times. Cool reverse Tonto look there. Uh, let's see, no jimping or anything up top, but you've got this little divot. This is little space right here that your thumb can kind of sink into and grab. And that's nice. Tiny little spot there for a lanyard if you want to thread that through. Uh, the clip, looks like the clip is just a one side thing. A little Holtzman badging there. All right, feels good. I do like the texture. It almost has, almost looks a little bit like a fish scale, like a gray fish scale, the texture in the G10 there. Okay, I got all excited about this. Didn't even look at anything here. Flat grind, 3.58 inch D2 steel, love it. Ball bearing pivots, love that. Gray G10 scales, red liners, lanyard hole, pocket clip. Overall length of 8.5 inches. Yep, pretty cool. Let's take a look at that again. Has a cool profile too um, in your pocket. It is a pretty large knife. Let's see, I've got a CJRB Pyrite um, right here, which actually, now I look at it, very similar coloring and stuff on those. Uh, but you can tell how much beefier uh, this thing is from the side. Um, but really dig that though. Holtzman makes really cool stuff. I'd be fine if Battlebox keeps giving us more of their stuff. Um, we, need, we need to degrease these blades first though. I'm glad it keeps them uh, nice and transit, but man, those things get, uh, messy. Okay, cool. All right, so that is a good battle box month, guys. So there we go. Pro Plus, we got the Holtzman knife, um, which they just call a clip point uh, folding knife. I guess no model on that. We've got these awesome lights from Hybrid Light. My favorite thing in the box this month. Really awesome pot there. We've got, where'd my fire go? We've got our portable fire here. We've got the Field and Stream camping manual, and then we've got a ton of hydration packets. Really cool stuff. So again, if you want to get battle box for yourself, this is mission 104. You can get the link on the screen here or down in the description and save yourself some money. Uh, really cool box every month. No matter which level you can get in at, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this if you're into outdoor survival, prepping gear, that sort of stuff. You're going to dig this subscription. So that's it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.